Well, today for all of uh, John's fans, uh, here we are in uh, the very man's living room to ask him about uh, a number of things that uh, are currently uh, happening in his uh, uh, highly illustrious career. Uh, starting with uh, uh, this big event that you've got uh, going on tomorrow in uh, Hyde Park, I believe. Yeah, that's right. It's the um, Tameside Prom. Uh, I did it uh, not last year, but the two years prior to that. Um, it was a great event. Uh, last year I was actually away doing something else, but I was so pleased when they invited me back. And it's uh, great to be doing uh, my first prom concert, the first of my season uh, in, my, in Manchester. It's not quite my hometown because that's Salford, but uh, Manchester is pretty much as local as it gets. So I, I get to uh, revive some music that I actually did with Carl Davis and the uh, Liverpool Philharmonic about three years ago, which is the Bond repertoire. So uh, John Christos becomes James Bond, which will be a, a lot of fun. No gun this time. But uh, I get to do that, and there's some famous film music, and uh, obviously I get to take uh, my protege, Jenny Williams, who's coming with me as well. We've got the, uh, the flag bearers, and I know lots of people from the, lots of fans and friends from the website, and local family and friends are coming to watch that. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Well, that's great. Um, I'm glad you think so. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, there's something that we've really got to ask you because, uh, Go on. you know, obviously uh, people who uh, regularly visit your Facebook page would uh, notice that, um, yeah. John, you've got this curious obses obsession with cows. I mean, what, what's, what's going on? What can I say? I think that the best way to put it, a cow's life, if I was to come back in life, reincarnation, that's what I'm looking for. If I was to be reincarnated, I'd love to be reincarnated as a cow. I mean, the things that they do, they eat, they sleep, and they poop. As far as I'm concerned, that is every man's dream. As you can see on the piano over there, you can see that I do actually have a cow with me at all times. It's become a, a thing that actually happened, an obsession that happened when I first went to sing and perform over in Jersey uh, with my uh, fiancé, who I'm getting married to uh, later next year. And we, we just think cows are brilliant. And if you look on TV, you see them. They're everywhere. Everything you look, every advert, cows seem to feature, so they are the way forward. Uh, I think I just heard a noise outside. Um, white van, guys with uh, white <laughs> coats. Hmm. Oh, Not look, a straight time. jacket, a straight jacket. Not before hmm. time. OK, well, let's get on to a, a bit, bit more of a serious uh, subject. Go on, then. And uh, that is uh, some exciting news that uh, has uh, just been revealed. Um, that not only are you performing at this year's BBC Salford Proms, but yeah. uh, you've been asked to host it, I understand. Yeah, I know, that's mental, isn't it? Um, it was funny, I was doing a bit of uh, food shopping, and I got this phone call from uh, the uh, GM of uh, the BBC Phil, and I thought he was just going over rep ideas, because we've not finalised that as yet, although I do hear that there's a potential Sound of Music medley, so, folks, no dancing this year, and I'm sure you're all absolutely gutted about that. I'm not, because I made a complete brat of myself last year. But anyway, getting back to the point, yeah, he uh, called me up, and uh, they've done some homework on me, obviously because I have my own show on BBC Radio Lancashire, every Sunday, 4 till 6, 103.9, or on bbc.co.uk slash Lancashire. They, uh, they thought um, it would be good to have a local boy, the most important thing, a local boy presenting the show, and I was uh, thrilled. Absolutely ecstatic, in fact, uh, when they asked me to do it, because it's my home crowd. And I said to them, uh, yeah, I'd love to do it, but what happens when it comes to me and my solos and my bits? And what do I do say? And now, ladies and gentlemen, with the BBC Philharmonic, it's me. You know, <laughs> what do you do? But they said, we'll find a way around it. And of course, we've got the legendary John Barrowman from Torchwood, Doctor Who, fabulous singer as well from his West End days as well. It's going to be amazing to work with him as well. So, you know, second year on the bounce, singing in front of my home crowd, and actually getting to present the show, couldn't be happier. Well, that's a very, very uh, brilliant uh, opportunity that's been given to you. Perhaps uh, they might actually ask uh, John Barrowman himself to uh, introduce you, because uh, obviously years <laughs> ago uh, he used to be a presenter on uh, BBC TV, a uh, children's right, yeah. uh, programme, I believe it was Going Live, I think it was called. I thought well, that was Philip Schofield. Uh, I think it was John Barrowman that, that did it after Philip. Well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it was a young long time ago, a long I'm time ago. It was. <laughs> yeah, before your time, that was. Before your time, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. OK, well, finally, um, I'm sure all your fans are dying to know, uh, regards to sort of like the bigger picture, you know, what's currently going on with regards to albums and, and all sorts yeah, of things, really. It's, it's a difficult one, this, you know, David, because the yeah, artist, my album artist, uh, everyone knows that that's been made for quite a while. And a lot of people have been wondering why it's not out there. And to be honest with you, for a while, me too. Um, and it's a frustrating thing. But as we know, in time, the market changes. And with the, uh, the wonder, said he very sarcastically, of uh, reality TV, like Britain's Got Talent and The X Factor, and fair play to him, good luck to him. But the market changes. And at this particular time, solo artists 
And I think possibly when Northern Light came out as well, solo artists were a bit flooded in this particular field. And I've had the, the privilege to teach young Jenny Williams and it was only when I invited Jenny to come and sing with me at a couple of gigs that we thought, we'll try a couple of these songs that I normally sing on my own as duets. And the response we got was absolutely ridiculous. I mean, you've seen it yourself, David, when we've been out on this uh, charity tour mm, absolutely. for Leukemia and Lymphoma Research and for Breakthrough Breast Cancer and the Royal Marston, raising tens of thousands of pounds. When we sing, uh, the audiences just stop in their tracks. And that tells me it's a winner. But the most important thing for me, from my own point of view, is the repertoire that we do, I like to believe we tell a story. And it's a story, unlike some opera aries, that's up to date, it's contemporary, and it's one that we can tell, you know, wholeheartedly and honestly. And in this, uh, this particular adventure, we've worked with the voices, the harmonies, I get to produce and direct a little bit of what we're doing as well, which is great. And uh, I just think it's a way forward, there's never been anything like that, but that's not the most important thing. I feel from an artistic point of view that Jenny and I together offer something more than I believe that I can offer on my own at this particular time. And I'm not saying that that won't happen in the future, I think this is just where I'm at at the minute. So, all being well, there are talks in development, I don't want to jinx them, jinx them because uh, there are talks ongoing with some major labels. If it happens, great. If not, then I'm sure the album will come out at some point. So, bear with me, there's no one more impatient than me on this score, but the music will be worth listening to, I assure you of that. Well, that's great, John. Um, I'm glad you think so. You know, well, <laughs> well, uh, I'm sure uh, all, myself included and all your fans uh, will look forward very much to uh, seeing how some of these uh, developments pan out, yeah, yeah. Uh, as well as to seeing you at your, your event tomorrow and uh, in September. Well, what we'll do, I think, um, as we're here, you know, visiting, uh, it's the mother's house, it's not my house, we're here today doing, uh, having a bit of a, a pre pre-concert meal which is my kind of uh, thing that I always do, it's part of my tradition when I've got a big gig coming up I always visit the mother and have the evening here so I can just relax and get myself focused and uh, yeah excuse me for a moment, have a little uh, glass of wine which is purely for the throat of course there we are. of course very nice, very nice but uh, I think what we'll do is we'll keep, uh, keep you up to date, we'll uh, take the camera with us yeah, a lot of you have seen the documentary that we did many years ago back in 2003 of Chasing the Dream well with David's help here, Mr. David Gregory, the brainchild behind this charity organisation tour that I'm doing, then uh, I think we will keep, uh, keep you up to date with some behind the scenes footage, we'll uh, showcase what we're doing, when we're doing it, and I'll talk to you and update you so you can uh, stay in the loop, because I think that's important. And as an artist, sometimes when I'm here, there and everywhere, it's very difficult to update you know, fan pages, Facebook pages, MySpace pages, sometimes just time won't allow to do that. So we'll, we'll do our own little mini documentary for you. So keep tabs and keep checking back on johnchristos.com for more updates. Fantastic.